American celebrity journalist Pavlina Osta joining us all the way from New York. So, you know, first of all, let's begin with some background here. Why has the Oscars been accused of having a lack of diversity, and when did this issue really come to the forefront of public discussion? Absolutely, and thank you so much for having me on. So the Oscars have been criticized for, like you said, their lack of diversity for a long time now. They are consistently failing to nominate female, black, Asian, ethnic, ethnic actors and actresses. And this really came under fire in 2015 uh, when all 20 you know, acting nominations went to white actors. And an activist, uh, April Rain, you know, started the hashtag Oscars so white, hashtag Oscars so white. And that kind of took off. Off, and that really got the Academy to refocus what they were doing. And that sort of started this whole movement into diversity for them. And now everything they're doing is, it's kind of crazy, but it's really, it's good. And they're kind of moving into like this new whole new direction, but it really started in 2015. So what are the four standards or criteria that films are going to have to meet to qualify for best picture? Yes, so the four standards are number one, the on-screen acting and storylines, including um, at least one lead actor or significant act, like supporting actor from an unrepresented racial or ethnic group. That's number one. Number two is creative leadership positions, de like departmental heads and crew composition. Number three is paid uh, apprenticeships and internships and training. And number four is audience development and like the publicity and marketing to distribution. And these four standards, they're hoping to boost representation and inclusion, um, you know, both in front and also behind the camera. Interesting. Now, why is this only happening starting in 2025? Right, so of course there's a lot of things that kind of have to go into effect, and especially if we want, uh, you know, long-term effect, you know, to kind of go into place here. Uh, they, you know, it takes a long time to, to meet those standards, and there's a lot of projects already in the works, uh, and they're also, the Oscars are a year behind. They kind of, like, they follow the, the previous years, and then they, they go on based on those movies for that year. Um, but it basically, it really just takes a lot of time to to kind of have that everlasting change. I, w if I wish we could see, you know, a faster, faster change with that kind of thing. Well, and I also assume that the coronavirus is having an impact here as well. You know, what other changes has the Academy implemented right now uh, to help increase diversity other than this? Absolutely, so recently uh, they invited 819 new members to vote uh, in the Oscars, you know, to join the Academy. 45% are women and 36% are non-white. Uh, and they've now doubled their numbers in women voters. And yeah, that's basically what they're doing. They're, it, you know, they're really just like trying to diversify the Academy and because those are the ones who vote on, you know, making the Oscars. So uh, they're really trying to get the unrepresented groups, you know, including women, racial, ethnic groups, uh, LGBTQ+, plus people with disabilities, those are really who they're trying to be more inclusive with. Do critics feel that these latest moves are enough? It's getting kind of, it's good and bad. Obviously, a lot of people are very happy about this. Uh, and, you know, they're very proud of the Academy for finally <laughs> getting on board with everything else that's going on in the world and, you know, really having the industry kind of step up its game and making sure that everyone is included and everything. But a lot of other critics are definitely saying that it's kind of like the Democrats controlling Hollywood. So it sort of depends on how you look at it. But a lot of people, of course, they're happy about it. But there's always, you know, people that are going to criticize. All right, Pavlina Osta, thank you so much for joining us and breaking that down. Now, 